the lower end. And we have a we have a um, we have a map we, a map map we can give you to show you exactly. We I think we have a copy here that we can let you see. It gives you a better idea of exactly where they're at on the rivers. Mm -hmm. so, I'm just curious to know how how far apart they are. Um, I would have to, I'd be happy to get back with you. We can get that, that exact distances. That would not be difficult. We have a Google Earth layer that we, we would have no problem in tracking the exact distances between the boats. Is, is there a good one to like put in and go down and get out at another one? Like we go on a monthly outing on our rivers. Got any suggestions? We would glad to be looking. We can look into that for you and uh, provide some suggestions. Right. Sir, thank you. And we would be enjoy and have an opportunity to you know go with you. So I think that would be a, a good another thing that we're going to be doing on a lot of those outings is collecting information and so if you guys are interested in that well, information our primary us. role is to provide recreation um, mm -hmm. what you do while you're recreating recreating is mm -hmm. I believe that's completely up right. to y'all um, like I said, our capacity and our capacity is to actually provide the recreation itself is completely up to you as well as any other citizen um, to do whatever you'd like to legally while you're traveling. One of the things that that our what we're looking at trying to do from the standpoint of you know we're looking at trying to put together if you will, a blue way type mapping system. These are some of the things that are in its infancy stages. That we're wanting to market um, what we currently have so we can have it out there for, for the public to see and say okay you know if you want a short paddle trip or a longer paddle trip so we have that information guide and, and being a, we're in the process right now of looking to totally redo our our website number one and we're also looking at being trying to get the information out there for anyone that that um, would like to see what facilities we do have things that you all were just you know mentioning about the the entry points for the current boat ramps for canoeing from that standpoint but also we are trying to look at other options in our in our county as well um, for other water access points now we've not gotten anything concrete or current but our staff currently are looking at at ways to make our our blue blue way system more prevalent in what we are doing not only just the blue the rivers you know the blue ways but also we're looking at green the current trail systems that we do have um, so we are right now another thing as I mentioned earlier with the mass the the mission and vision one of the things that we are trying to do is looking at from our current structure of what we with the current sites that we do have is look at ways to strengthen and add more sites in our county as I said earlier but all of that is with our master plan we're in the process of updating our five-year master plan um, company some system-wide master plan and so we're in that process now and um, it, it there are things from that that are looking to um, add to our system there um, one of the things that our mission as we said earlier calls for us to be stewards and environmentally responsible you know educate our community one of the things that we are starting this summer is we have a summer day camp for ages 5 to 12 and one of the things that we think is really important is to get the environmental education piece to our kids we have about 125 kids right now that are in our day camp and our assistant director Nate Kalutka is going to be working with all of these kids um, a week out at Langdale Park and we're going to we're working on programming with our current staff to to try to get all of these kids out there and and look at um, you know the environmentally you know things there and some education piece to that. So we think that is 
especially in South Georgia where we're at and the, the different history and the, the natural resources that we do have. So that is something that has not been done as much, you know, in the past, but we are trying to look at um, doing that, not just with our summer day camps, but also look at other partners that we can look at to, to, to try and, um, you know, get more and more people involved. 